Now, at what point did you um, file for divorce? Was that season your your eleventh season? No, it was at the actually the, at the end of the first season that I was on on season ten. And then, why did you file for divorce? I mean, at the end of the day, we had been having problems for a while, but it got to the point where he had an affair, and I wasn't willing to accept that. So you were married for how long? 14 years. Wow. Two children together. Two children. And how did you find out about the affair? Well, we had gone on a vacation with the whole family, and when I got back, I got a phone call from my dearest friend, and she said, are you heading home right now? And I said, yes. And she said, I need to talk to you pull over. And she said, I go, you're scaring me. Like, what, what? why are you telling me to pull over? And she said, you're going to have a conversation with Jason when you get home. And I just, I go, you can't just do that to me. Yeah. So she gave me the heads up that, you know, she had found out. How'd she find out? Through a mutual friend. Um, they were in the desert for a Coachella and um, the girl came to visit him at Coachella as if, and by the way, amongst people that I knew, as if, you know, that was cool. Normal, yeah. And he was like, I adore this girl, and was like saying that to people. And then, of course, it, it came back through six degrees of separation all the way to my closest friends. And So he got more bold and brazen and probably didn't give a fuck at that point? I still think that had I not filed for divorce, we might be married. I think he's that type of guy. And at the time, he was such a narcissist that I think he felt like he could have both. Oh, now, how, how long was the affair going on? I, I think they met at Il Pastillo, believe it or not. Um, it's a good restaurant. It's a delightful pasta, isn't it? It is. It really in is. In the cheese bowl. And God, that carpaccio. Mm. Oh, God, so good. You just can't sit on, outside. No. It's just like wearing yeah, a nice watch. Plus, the mosquitoes, too. No. The mosquitoes are terrible. And the anyway, Okay, so I'm sorry. Okay, so keep going. Um, they were introduced at lunch at El Pastillo, mm. and they exchanged numbers for business reasons and um they met up and and that was that so he told you um how many times did they meet up what did he tell you of course you know when someone's caught in an affair it's just a a a barrage of lies that you're just trying to like tone it down as much as possible and it's like look you were caught whether you did it five times or 85 times you did it yeah so my guess is it, it was a little under a year by the time that i found out um, probably a few times a month because she didn't live locally. Oh, she lived um, in the state? Yes. Okay. And so she would come down here and yeah. what, check into a hotel and then he... That's my, that's what I'm guessing. How, I mean, this must have been devastating. It was devastating, you know, and again, I was on a TV show. I was navigating my kids. Um, You know, I was proud of how far I'd come in terms of my career and to be the first woman on this great show and which he sort of was like pshaw about, you know. Um, And I was just trying to figure out how the heck I was going to navigate this because, of course, this all went down my first season on the show. And I didn't tell a producer. I didn't tell anybody. I just felt like I had to get through the season. So you got through the season and then you filed. And then I filed. And then, of course, it was out you know, in the press because it's all public. Yes. Um, and I remember I was sitting with my ex-husband in a car and we were like parked by the beach in a parking lot trying to figure out how we were going to tell the kids and what we were going to do. And he didn't know um, that I had filed. I hadn't even told him. And wow. all of a sudden my phone starts going bing, 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 <laughs> and, as well as his. And uh, he was very upset. How is your relationship today? Because this was, what, four or five years ago? Five years ago. Um, we're great. I mean, it took me a long-ass time yeah. to sort of wrap my head so much anger. And, you know, he was, he, he really manipulated the situation. Of course, it was all my fault. And because I was a workaholic, and I'm like, this is absolute horseshit. Yeah. Um, and Gaslighting. Then, total gaslighter. Um, Even to our therapist. I mean, my therapist was like, this is the biggest gaslighting I've seen in a long time. I said, he's very good. I mean, this is a guy who He's handsome. He's charming. For most of his life, his entire job was about walking into a room like this full of people and winning them over. Yes. He was very good at it. Yeah. Pretty much all of us would sleep with him. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, pretty much. Safe to say. Oh, you did. (laughs) (laughs) Are you the girl on the hoe? By the way, there there was a time where I was like, is he gay? 
you know. Right. I'll, I tend I'll, to, I'll find out. I mean, I tend to love a pretty boy, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, now, five years almost later, we've we've come back together, and it took me a long time, but I feel good. I mean, I've even sat down, by the way, at El Pastillo again, which is creepy. <laughs> you gotta go with, somewhere else. With yeah. his, it's just so easy. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. <laughs> you know? But w- I sat down with his, um, with his significant other. And They're not remarried, are they? They are. Oh, how oh. soon did they re- did he remarry? Just recently. He oh, married okay. the girl. Yeah. Wow. Did. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Congrats. Um, you were not invited to the wedding. Did you, in a did situation send- like that, do you, were you invited to the wedding? No, I wasn't. But in a situation like that, don't we send a gift? I did not send I a gift. I didn't send a gift. Oh. Fuck that. No. Okay. You sent a gift? I mean, I'm not there. I mean, we had just. It's a little something. I mean, no. I had repaired my relationship with her, and I feel like we've, you know, we've come a long way. We sat across from each other. We, you know, we said we determine how this is going to go moving forward. It's yes. not everybody else's story. It's yours and mine. And you're going to marry my ex-husband. You guys obviously love each other. You're now going to be a stepmother to my two children. Mm-hmm. And she said one thing, you know, she was like, you know, I said, I will give you credit for this. The last four years, you haven't tried to parent them in any way. You've never stepped on my toes when it comes to my children. And and I appreciate that. But now that you are going to be a stepmom in their lives, it's your job to do that. Yes. When I'm not, I'm not in the house. And when the girls are with you, they need sort of that figure. And she's like, well, I've always treated them more like little sisters. And I'm like, they're not your little sisters. Is she, how old is she? 33. Is she hot like you? You're hotter. I mean, she's cute. Okay. But, but you're hot. She's but you're cute. Hot. I think she's cute. Right. So you're hotter is what you're saying. <laughs> I mean. 